Hey Weekly Watchers, my name is Dabboys on the Put, and today we're looking at a little short um, video on this 15 year old who did a really bad thing at the age of 15. He was a drug dealer and it's called Drug Runner and it's about this British boy. So let's get into the video. Playing PlayStation, knocking about with mates. So nah, of course I didn't think I'd be dealing. Okay, so at first he's got a nice life. He's got friends. He's got a PlayStation. But he didn't know it was gonna go horribly wrong. Blow at 15. The following film is based on a real interview. An actor's voice has been used to protect the identity of the interviewee. You can already see that it's that this poor kid, this 15 year old, already lives in this horrible, run down apartment. Sorry, I've got my little cup of coffee here. Oh, that's some good coffee. Everyone kind of knew each other's business on the block, so me and my mates knew what the older lot were up to. But I was much more impressionable than them lot. Like, I was proper impressed by the flash jewellery and new trainers every week, money always in their hands. I suppose I was just a bit of a prick. Well, to be dealing drugs at like the age of 15 it's not very hygienic is it you're, you're a 15 year old and you should be studying you should be looking after your parents well whoever you live with but doing drugs or dealing drugs isn't good at all because like I've been lectured on that when I was in school in the, well, I'm in the UK now, but back when I was in school in the UK in a school called Slinton College, we had a few police officers come into the school and talk about these things regularly. So we had them in our head. I started off as a lookout. Not very Just good. Just weed at first. They'd get me going round on the little runs and that. Then at the end of the day, the older lot would slap 20 quid in my hand and let me smoke a joint with them. This is why you don't make friends with older kids if you're like 15 years of age. I'm sorry, but what was he thinking? Like, you wouldn't see me doing that. No. Because I'm 18 years of age. And there's, like, no way I would do that if I was a kid. And if I was him and someone offered me drugs or asked me to be a drug dealer, I'd say no. It's not that hard to say no. But these things happen. Sometimes they really push you in doing it. <laughs> I'd go home feeling like a fucking legend. The bike was the first thing that I splashed on. I loved it. Proper fucking loved that bike. By 15, I had my own line. I'd proved myself enough to move on to cocaine instead of weed. This kid 
used to smoke cocaine. I mean, not cocaine, used to smoke weed. And then he moved on to cocaine. Honestly. And was clearing like a couple of hundred a week. Helping my mum out here and there when I could, without her clock. Okay, so here's the mum. She was completely unaware of what's happening right now to her own 15-year-old son. And she works for the NHS. And who's working... A lot. Really pushing the family. Doing a lot for the family. And there you have her 15-year-old son dealing drugs at that age. And she, she has no clue on what is happening whatsoever. Clocking what was going on. Buying my little sister ice cream. I was doing alright for a 15 year old. Which you shouldn't be doing it in the first place, to be honest. The phone calls did my fucking nothing up. It was 24 7. Early morning, late at night, every day of the week. That's another thing. Don't give your number to a random old person or like an older kid not an old person <sighs> because like you never know like it could be a scam it could be tr someone trying to take your money it could be someone who you don't know <laughs> and i just realized something <laughs> he's got a gift gaff um it's the same for me i've got gift gaff on my phone I'd be at school and get a call and if they wanted like a decent amount or were usual customers, you couldn't really say no. So I'd duck out of school early and cycle about, hoping the old bill didn't stop me to ask what I was doing out of school and that. Where we met depended on how well I knew them. New customers I was power about, so we'd just meet somewhere outside so I could hide somewhere and bell them. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm five minutes away. But really, I... Look, I still don't get why this kid here is dealing drugs at the age of 15. Doesn't he not know it's not right to do it? Does he not know how bad it is? But to him, he probably doesn't care. I was watching them, like trying to spot the undercovers. If they were regulars, it was more chill. Sometimes it'd be their houses or their cars on road, or even now and then the posh city lot would be throwing parties and I'd make quite a bit those nights. I'd be able to get a decent night's sleep and ignore some calls through the night. Sometimes it So another disadvantage there that he's just said um the one downside of being a drug dealer is that you hardly get any sleep. Cause it really messes with your head. There's always that one person that wants this, who wants that, and then this and that. You get the whole point. Just don't do it in the first place. They chat to me, but most of the time we just like nod and stay silent. I don't know how many times I heard, you look too young to be doing this. And I'd shut my mouth, but be thinking, you look too fucking old to be doing this. Um, the worst part, um, probably the endless hours cycling about or just stood in the cold and rain, 
waiting about for some prick wanting to dabble in a bit of coke during his time at uni. I fucking hated the re-ups as well. Once a week I'd have to pick up a new batch. Just don't do it in the first place. Always from some absolute shithole. The kind of place that makes you want to burn your clothes if you touch anything. I was slacking in school and started to slowly lose some old mates. Sorry about they knew that. My, what I was doing. Uh, alarm went off. The older we got, the less easily they could be impressed by me, like, flashing money about. But I kept thinking, you know, fuck them lot. I'm helping my mum and sister. Um... <laughs> no, you're not. You're not really helping your mum out a lot. Well, you are by getting money, but at the but the but at the exact same time, don't you not know it's bad? You're dealing drugs, and with that, you could get arrested. Um. Because, like, it's not really helping your parents out at all. Helping your brothers or sisters if you're doing this at a young age. It's just not right to do it at all. Seven. That's all that matters. Ah, uh, here we go. He's just you been get arrested. real quick and stop being as cautious with it all. The first time I got arrested... I knew it was my fault. Some stern-faced middle-aged bloke trying to blend in and look urban. My fucking fault, man. And they slapped the cuffs on and I just kept thinking about how devastated mum was going to be. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Honestly. Like, if she found out about it, that you were dealing drugs... You'd be done for. Well. Just thinking about it. Depends on, like, your parents and how mean they are. If they're strict, they'll probably say, right, that's it, get out of the house. Or they could be calm about it and just cry about it and be very disappointed in your son. Well, in their son. And of course she was. Even worse when I sat there, reeling off the rehearsed, no comment that I'd been taught from young. Yeah, we got home and she just cried and cried. Instead it was her fault for not seeing what was going on. Mum just had her own shit to deal with. She was grafting to keep a roof over our head and put food on the table. I'm sure she didn't recognise me that day. She was looking at me like I was a stranger. It sounds bad, doesn't it? But I don't regret it them extra 20 quids here and there, and the milk I'd bring home, I, I knew helped my mum. And yeah, of course, drugs can ruin lives and that, but I was 15, man. The people buying from me were adults who had made their own choices. Thing is, don't do it in the first place when you know it's not right. If it weren't me, then it'd only be some other kid. Well, that's the story about a 15-year-old boy who um, was dealing drugs at a very, very young age. Always remember... One it's not right.
to do drugs. If someone, two, two, if someone asks you, do you want drugs, you just say no. Well, if you guys have enjoyed that uh, true story about a 15-year-old boy and you want to see more, um, let me know down in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys go press that subscribe button. Press that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I buy upload a new video. Stay awesome boy puss and stay cool girl puss and I'll see you guys in my next video.